What is labyrinth? 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 My name is Araz and I'm the Artistic Director at Labyrinth Ontario. Labyrinth Ontario is an artist-run not-for-profit uh, based in Ontario, Toronto. Um, we um, promote and present uh, musics from the modal music traditions and with the focus on Mavam musics. We try to help people appreciate the musical material in depth by helping them develop the ear for listening hearing, enjoying, um, appreciating the modalities and pitch material tonalities that are not common in Western music. And most of us, a lot of us, have not been exposed to those modalities and pitch material. Hi, I'm Leanne and I am the Marketing and Community Engagement Coordinator at Labyrinth Ontario. Labyrinth has grown a lot since uh, I started working here. We started with the Arts in the Parks project, which was really fun. We had musicians going to different parks in Toronto and playing and being in public and especially during COVID, this was a really great way to still reach the community and showcase the beauty of the city while still remaining distant. And since then, we've done these instrument petting zoos, which are really interesting because people are encountering instruments that they have never seen or been exposed to before. And they really get to experience the physicality of it. And it also gives them the opportunity to talk to the musicians who are such knowledge holders and culture holders and um, we have a really great roster of musicians who are so willing to share and so excited to bring their music to Toronto. for Labyrinth Ensemble. Well, the Labyrinth Ensemble was formed in the summer of 2021 through an audition process. We have 14 amazing professional musicians and they're all at various stages in their careers. They come from a variety of different musical backgrounds. This includes Iranian, Turkish modal music, Western classical music, or jazz and improvised music. Um, they meet twice a year for two week long intensives to study um, different repertoires such as uh, Iranian, um, Arabic, Turkish, Ottoman, and others. We've worked with some amazing international guests such as Lumia Yared, Evgenius Bulgaris, and Guzin Degishmas. Um, these intensive culminate in a public performance in Toronto. Um, this is a way for the artist to not only present but disseminate the learnings from this two-week intensive.
Hi, my name is Enzo and I work for Labyrinth Ontario as the operations manager, but also leading the McCommon Schools stream. Um, the McCommon Schools stream is expanding beyond concert venues and uh, music venues um, and reaching a generation um, and really diversifying our audience, not only culturally, but generationally and age as well. Um, we have found ourselves teaching in schools around Toronto, such as in Earl Haig or University of Toronto Schools, where we've really expanded students' agencies um, through a multi-week workshop program. So, so far, they've been able to expand their agency over their instrument. They've been able to bend their instruments, to bend the pitch. Um, they've been able to learn music by ear instead of by score. Um, and really getting intimate with the, with the culture that they come from. They've been able to improvise and compose based on the macabres and the rhythmic cycles that we've given them. I'm David, I'm the new Executive Director of Labyrinth Ontario, and I couldn't be more pleased to be here with the Labyrinth team, building something which is truly unique and special in the Ontario music scene. Labyrinth, when I've seen it from an outside perspective, working in different capacities in music, has been an admirable place for musicians to go, train, expand their horizons, but it also does so much more. It works in schools, it works in salon type environments where members of the public can intimately engage with the musicians and their instruments. And also, we put on great concerts in such beautiful venues as the Aga Khan Museum. Labyrinth is it's a community it's a local community project. It's an international high art project. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a project um, developing resources for professional musicians. It's a project that's bringing music to audiences who don't get a chance to hear that music. Uh, it's all of these things and it's many more things and as the organization grows and new people come on board I keep finding out new things that that Labyrinth is. Uh, my name is Jonathan Ajemian. Um, I helped Araz start Labyrinth Ontario several years ago now. Labyrinth has been fortunate to get support from, from the different levels of, of government councils and we've been very fortunate to get in-kind and personal support from organizations and, and individuals in Toronto. But uh, a big successful arts organization doesn't operate simply on those, on those funds. It's really important to have private donations, donations from the community, donations from foundations. Um, sometimes I think we, because we know that Canada has government funding for the arts, we, we feel we can just assume that that takes care of it. Uh, and I assure you that it really doesn't. It takes care of a small percentage of, of the budget. Uh, so I would really encourage people to give and, and to give generously. This is a project uh, that has shown that uh, it can accomplish a lot in a short period of time, that has been growing rapidly and continuously since it started um, and uh, any donations that are given to it will be used well to support musicians and, and to promote these musics that we're programming. Mm -hmm.